Welcome on in to another episode of the little PGA Tour. Last week I did EA Sports. I gave you guys a little tip on some comments that I've been getting. Today we're going to go back and do a little TGC. I'm going to talk about um, exactly what helped me get back into this game and get right back in rhythm. I'm also going to talk about here what kind of changes I made on my bag to help me out drastically. So... We're going to dive on into that. Do not forget to like and subscribe. If you need any videos, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I probably already have a video out on them. We are a couple weeks away from college football, EA Sports. That game will be coming out as well. But in the meantime, if you want some golf tips, I have plenty of videos for them. I'm also happy to make some videos, so feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Right now, let's talk about what I've done here, and then I'll talk about how I've been approaching the golf game to actually drastically decrease my scores. So let's go to my locker right now and let's talk about my fitting. So the two areas that I'm primarily focusing on right now is power and transition. As you can see here with my driver, I have 100% power and 95% transition. I'm trying to hit the ball as far as possible, but also be smooth as possible. And that's kind of like the big thing that I got going on here. I'm trying to just combo all of those up. Whenever I get three of these bad boys... Just try to upgrade to see if I can get something that might help me out a little bit better. Unfortunately, I don't have a hybrid in the in the bag. So that really won't help me out too much here. We'll have to get that at a later time. So I changed the fitting in my irons as well. I have added in a purple one because this now gave me, it gave me, I went from here. So I went minus four on the power. And I was also minus seven on the transition. And now you can see I'm up to an 87 on the transition. I have a better lie. I have a plus four on the lie range as well. And on top of that, I've gone about an extra six yards or so in distance. Three to six yards. And wedges. I've also swapped in a power purple wedge here uh, fitting. And that cha transitioned me. I was, when was it? I think I, I traded it in. But... I am now at a 93 power here, so it balances a lot more. And in my transition, I'm at a 79. I'm still trying to work on this one. I want to get this one a little bit higher up. I was thinking about switching over to this one right here, but the lie range penalty is a little bit too steep for me. So I have not decided to switch to that one just yet, but we will in the time. And the most important one, I completely forgot about putting. And you can see here, putt weight, putt weight, putt weight. I am now 95 putt weight and 60 speed. So that is pretty much like the big change that I have going on here. Putt path doesn't really matter that much. I've found, I've tested, and I forgot until I watched a video. And I was like, man, my putting's pretty bad. I'm going to go watch my putting video and my tips. Putt weight is drastically more important than putt path. So you can see here that I made a big change. And this has drastically helped my uh, my putting as well. So we're going to dive on in here, and we are going to play a little TGC. So today we have kinetic rounds, round one and two. Uh, it has, it looks like the cut line right now on a Tuesday is only 13 under uh, after two rounds, which is pretty crazy. I think it's after two rounds. I should probably just double check that. Is this after two rounds? Yeah, after two rounds, the cut line is only 13, 13 under, so... I'm assuming that this turn this course is very difficult. And uh, we're going to get on into it, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Check it out. Sit back, relax, watch some fun. If you have not checked the betting channel, midnightbets.com, we have that going on as well. If you like sports gambling, pretty much it. Let's let's play some good rounds, and I'll talk about what I've been doing here that really uh, helped my, myself out along the way as well. So one of the big things that I've really been doing now is I've gone back to some things... I had to watch my own videos a little bit, you know, kind of had to figure that all out. And what I've what I've done is played draws everything. You can see here I'm moving the left and the right. So I just play a draw everywhere. You can see we're in super high winds. So the ball is going to go everywhere. But draws have helped me just eliminate one side of the golf course. Massive wind. Holy. This wind's got to be blown at like 25 miles an hour right now. Alright. 
Par five though, no big deal here. Win take out on in. All right, back to back bunkers. All right, we're gonna have to play this way out. Go bounce up there, bounce up there. Give ourselves a little nice little birdie look at this one. All right, little bird start. And that's how you start a nice little round here. A little one under. All right, so we know the wind's blowing hefty, probably like twenty-five miles an hour. So we need to account for these things. So 216, we're going to count for 22, we'll say 20 mile an hour. It's probably like 23 mile an hour. Because once you get to the 20 range, it was like almost one and a half per. So this is playing like 190, about 188. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, like 198 is what I meant. It's playing like 195, but if you hit, I, but the thing is you don't want to carry the flag here. I want to just hit to the front of the green. Got to get up. I did not hit all of that. We can escape with the par here. That'd be pretty good if we can get a birdie, though. Oh, my God. That was a sick shot. That's a recovery shot right there for the ages. A little par there. That's what we want. All right. Straight into the wind here. Said play a draw. Play a little draw here. Helps me know where the ball's going. Keep it in the fairway. Now we're going into a hefty win again. This is where it kind of um, EA Sports is pretty good because you can hit knockdown shots. But we're going up four feet. So it's playing 112. And then we're going into about... It's not fully directly into my face. So I'll say it's probably about another 10. So 122 is the number we're looking for. Probably going to spin a little bit too. And just like that is how you play a golf hole. You know your calculations, you play the draw, and you make the putt. And we're off to a great start here. And that's what it's all about. I'm almost nine under through nine. All right, this one's gonna be a little bit tough. Into the wind, hit the draw. I pulled it, don't go in the bunker. Get over that bunker. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Keep coming down all the way down. Nice on the flat spot there. It's somewhat flat. All right. Let's see. What do we got? We got no elevation, just straight wind. Into about 14, 15. Let's play a 102 shot. I think I can get my... I'm going to have to hit a pitch shot. Perfect. 101. Hit the draw. Ah, not far enough left. Right number, though. Cut this. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Oh, man. That would have been a great birdie there. All right, not a big deal. Just got to play these holes into the wind. They're a little bit tougher, obviously. 
not make a mistake here. We got a nice backstop at our at our advantage. Playing 176, but then you drop it down about 20. So it'll be 156 club. We just about pin high. We'll hit a little partial to be a little knockdown. Draw in there. One hop right up there and boop. Boop, boop, boop. And it might just go in the hole. Yep. But that is some pretty good stuff here. Tough win conditions. This is how you play in the wind. You got to calculate it. You got to hit lower shots. You got to do it. You guys can do this too. Watch, watch some videos and calculations. Hit the draw. When in doubt, hit the draw. It takes out an entire side of the golf course. All right, par four. This is a tough one. We got 183 going in two, like we said. It's about 20. This one's pretty much in our face, though. So it's really playing like 203. Hit the six iron. Low draw. Come on, win. Pull it more. Pull it more. Pull it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I pushed that one. Ah, that's a tough. That's a tough hold, though. Ooh, look at this. All right, we just want to get this started right here, and that's gonna carry it down to the hole. All right, it's pretty good. Was obviously not a par look there. I mean, a birdie look. We just had to play it safe there. Not get ourselves in trouble. Oh, nice. Get a draw here. Go. A little peaceful music here to keep it calm. Keep it chill. That's all that matters. All right. Tough fly here. You do not want to be down here, it looks like. Being over here is not terrible. Just do not want to be right. So we're up to up three, 139, but then we got about 20 helping. So like 109 is the club we're looking for here. But that's going to run on, so let's hit. We hit the lob wedge. 109 right here. We want to keep it left of that flag. A little draw. Ah, very fast into that. That was not not ideal. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Just because I wasn't very comfortable with that number. Now we're salvaging here. We'll take a bogey here. Not the best decision. I mean, it was the right moves. Just unfortunately, very poor execution. So this, and this time I'm not gonna hit the draw just because this is such a heavy wind. I'm actually gonna ride the wind. I'm gonna hit a cut here. Ride the wind. Don't ever try to beat a high wind like this. Just play the wind as it is. If there's little wind, always play the draw. Oh, don't go in that bunker. Ugh. This wind is gnarly. All right, seven. Damn. I really need to be in the fairway on this course. Can't just hit a regular shot. This is playing 57. It's actually playing like 70. This is 70 right shot right here, actually. I settled though. Let's go! That's how you bounce back from a stupid bogey. With a nice birdie. I didn't even give myself a good position there either, so. Way to bounce back strong.
We already know that this thing's gonna just move off the planet. The wind take it on in. Almost went a little too far there, but we got a good angle in over here. Straight downwind. In a pitch shot, so it shouldn't affect it as much. Down three, playing 75. A little bit of wind. Draw a little bit for me, please. Come off that hill. Come on down that hill. There you go. Kind of just got to run it up. We need this one. We need this one to drop here. Stay up. There we go. Just got to play the slopes. Got to play the elevation. In windy conditions like this, and you can't go right at the flags, you just got to run the ball up. Because the wind is going to just change the ball drastically. Got a nice little backstop there. We definitely want to take advantage of that. Down one, playing 148. And like we said, the wedge. So it'll be about 10. 10, 11. So it's like 138. I have to hit a partial. I go below the flag, though. I could definitely. Hit a, I'm going to hit a full sand wedge here and let the wind just take it. Come on. Come on down that hill. Come down the hill. Come down the hill. Right club just pulled it a little bit. That's on me. That's on me. Break. Break more. Break, 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 break. Ah. Damn. All right. Good par. Damn. Damn. Go. Trying to get this out there. Find the fairways. That's all we're trying to do. Alright, so we're going up 8. So it's playing 209 into... Like I said, it's not a direct win. Probably 12. So 221 is the number we're probably hitting into. If we go a little long. We got a nice little backstop there. We can hit a little knockdown 4-iron. Don't try to fight the wind. We're not going to win this battle. Never try to fight the wind. You're never going to win that battle. Good birdie look here. See if we can knock it in. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's go. Five under here. Tough conditions. But I'm confident in us. All right, into a hefty... Uphill and win situation. We'll knock down driver shot. Keep it short of the bunkers and in a good spot. Now this is going to be a tough shot. Why? Because we're in a straight red into the wind. So this wind is going to drastically affect this shot. We're already up 11. So let's count for that in. So we're already at 130. Going into... I'm going to count it for a full wind and some. Just because we're hitting straight up the hill. So... 130, I'm going to hit 150. One full 150 shot. And if I go a little bit behind the flag, it's fine. And this thing should actually spin off this lie, too. Wind should pull it a touch. Ah, too much, too much, too much. I hit it slow. But man, that was the right number. Just hit it slow. Alright, we're in salvage mode. This putt is gnarly. Or are we in birdie mode? Ah, no, that's good. Good. It's not, not lose strokes on stupid things. 
Still got a lot of lot of this round left to play. I don't mind being in that bunker green side if we are. Oh, that is not. I didn't want to be on the hill though. Look at this thing. All right, this thing's gonna go vertically left. I mean right. Ugh. What an unlucky break that is. Come on, run, 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 run. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep going. All right, we gotta look at it. It's a touch. Break. Let's go. Come on. Like I said, 13 under is the cut. If I can get to like 9 or 10 by the end of this round, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. Great par 5 into the wind here. Great drive. Perfect, perfect. We love a little perfect, perfect action there. Come on now. Alright. 3 wood. We want to risk. I got to get as close as possible so I'm not heading into the wind. I'm gonna try to hit a driver and just run it run it up there. See if I can get green side. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, we got a little down slope here and a little break to our right. We're putting uphill, that'd be pretty good. Oh my god, my finger slipped off the controller. Oh my god, that was so stupid. My finger slipped right off the controller. Gosh. Ugh. Stupid. Sometimes that happens. Nothing we can do about it. We're putting it behind us now. Sweaty hands. Down three into 12. Oh, about 10. 195, the number we're looking at here. Ah, uh, come on, wind. There it is. Run down there. Oh, let's get it here. That par five hurt me. Mentally. I knew I pushed it. That was on me. I'll push. All right, good par though. We're still in a really good spot here. It's the most important thing. Damn. That's a lot of some serious potential here. Hit the draw. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Should have a nice little wedge here. This pitch shot shouldn't affect the wind with the wind too much because it's gonna be pretty low. Two. Yeah, I kind of like this number. Turn over just a touch. Here we go. Come on, let's make a putt here. Come on, man. I'm playing so well, and I just... Ah, just a slight misread there on my part. Hmm. All right, rebound, rebound, rebound. We should be at seven under. We should be at nine under right now. But hey, we're putting it behind us. 207 down to 205 into about nine. 205. Keep this one short of the flag here. Wind is going to throw it drastically to the left. Get up. 
Get up. One more yard. Hmm. It's a good par. Some people really crush this round. All right, come on, let's finish strong here. Par. Run up there. Big hop. All right, let's finish with a birdie here. Make sure the hand does not slip off the controller this time. It did not. Come on, give me an eagle. Give it an eagle. Give it an eagle. Ah. That's a good birdie to good birdie to finish. All right, 7 under. Cut line's probably going to be like 14, 15. Threw away three strokes there on some stupid putting mistakes down the end. But that's round 1 for you. Come back tomorrow for round 2. We're right there, baby. We're right there on the thick of it. And I'm excited. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.